What's up, fellas? Doing a quick video for Jake, who needs a two megawatt diesel burner. And we're gonna be using the pump off the uh, Apocalypse burner here today, because I don't have time. But what I need to hit today is one gallon per minute. That is gonna represent 2.3 megawatts. That's the lowest reading on this scale. Got a little bit of an air leak here, where the bubbles are coming from. But I'm gonna turn this pump on to hit the target flow rate that we're talking about here. That's showing 58 on this register. And let's get a visual. That is an enormous amount of fuel. A lot of power. So that's how much fuel we're gonna be burning. Let's get this hooked up and check it out. That's only at 29. Need more air. Okay, so we just had too much air hose involved. Even with this regulator set at 140 PSI's, we weren't able to pump the amount of flow that we're needing to see this thing run without a droopy flame, that is. So we're gonna try that again.
Wow. So, we were starved of air. I just had way too much air hose. And um, when you go to hook this thing up, you're going to want a one inch air line. If you're using plant air at 80 PSI's, a simple hose like this just isn't going to cut it. You need uh, every bit of a one inch air line. By one inch, I'm talking ID. So, just to supply the flow this bad boy needs. You may not need that much, but I'm just thinking, you know, plant lines are usually 500 feet long or something crazy. So, longer than that. I think that's all the testing I'm going to do on this right now. This thing works phenomenally well. I kind of do want to try some other settings, but uh, let's get this footage to you. That's pretty much what it took to run that. I believe that's a 13 horsepower motor, but I'll have to check.